today we're going to be talking about some pretty cool museums. They are extremely interesting to talk about. They have some unique themes and are certainly quirky, but that just makes them more fun. Alrighty, so the quirky museums. There are tons of them out there and they are hidden gems. They are very unique and have lots of character. All of them worth the visit. So we're going to start out in La Crosse, Kansas at the Kansas Barbed Wire Museum. This museum is very specific. Pretty much everything they have is barbed wire related. But hey, barbed wire was very important in the settlement of the western United States. And aside from the barbed wire hall of fame and the 2400 different varieties of the wire, they also have antique fencing tools and various dioramas showing how the barbed wire was used. Alright, so now we're moving up to Massachusetts at the Museum of Bad Art, also known as MOBA. There are two of these museums, one located in Somerville, Massachusetts, and the other one located in Brookline, Massachusetts. MOBA says that their art is too bad to be ignored. They have over 500 pieces of bad art for your viewing pleasure. And believe it or not, they actually turn art down because it is not bad enough. They don't just take anything. There are very specific requirements to how bad this art has to be. They don't want scribbles or arts and crafts. They want works that people put their heart into. They were actually trying their hardest. They want that artistic vision that just didn't translate well on the campus. And many of the artists who have their work featured in these museums are actually happy because even though their art is being featured as terrible, at least they get featured in a museum. Alright, so that was MOBA. But now we're going to Hartford, Connecticut to check out the Trash Museum. The Trash Museum was created by the Connecticut Resources Recovery Authority, or the CRRA. This museum has a great cause because it is all about conserving resources and living a more sustainable life. There are exhibits discussing how trash has been managed throughout history and how we are progressing forward and creating better ways to deal with our waste. The CRRA's Trash Museum is not the only place we're going to be talking about today that is aiming to help the environment. The Cancun Underwater Museum in Mexico is yet another museum that is helping out Mother Earth. As the name states, this museum is in fact underwater, and in order to view it, one must scuba dive down to look. This museum was created to solve the problem of the diminishing coral reefs. By placing large sculptures and statues beneath the sea, they could create a large artificial environment for coral reefs to grow. So, a new museum and a new home for coral reefs was born. There are definitely tons of sculptures to see for when you dive down and explore. So now we're heading over to Zagreb, Croatia to look at the Museum of Broken Relationships. The contents of this museum highlights all the failed attempts at love and relationships. There are many very interesting artifacts to look at here. For example, one of the artifacts is called the X-Axe and it was donated by a woman who used this axe to chop up all the furniture when her boyfriend left her. There is also a broken garden gnome that was thrown by someone on the day of their divorce. Definitely has some interesting stuff. And in 2011, it was awarded the Kenneth Hudson Award for Europe's most innovative museum. Now, we're going over to New Delhi, India. There, you can find the Sulab International Museum of Toilets. This museum was established by a charity group that aims to increase sanitation in New Delhi. Its goal is to educate people about the history of toilets and sanitation systems in hopes that sanitation will become more advanced in the future. So once again, we see that many of these quirkier museums are just trying to help out the planet. And finally, we are moving on to the last quirky museum I'm going to discuss today. And that is in Osaka, Japan. This one is very interesting. It is the Momofuku Ando Instant Ramen Museum. This museum is all about instant ramen noodles and the guy that invented them. This museum covers the entire story of instant ramen noodles from the moment they were invented all the way up until they became a globally popular food item. So, that's all the museums I'm going to be talking about today. Some were strangely specific or just weird altogether. But either way, they all were celebrating something awesome. And that is what is so awesome about museums, is that no matter what you're into, you can find something that 
you're gonna like. So if unique and quirky is your thing, the museums that I just talked about are surely for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye!